Hello all, welcome to my YouTube channel for service no hacks. In this video, the topic which we are going to discuss is which one will run first, whether the UI policy action run first or the UI policy script run first. So for that, I'll show you a simple demo. I'll create a simple UI policy and I'll show you that. Let's get started. So let me open an incident. And if you see in the incident, assignment group is not mandatory here. Uh, so we'll use this field to become, you know, make the field mandatory and see how that works. So let's go to configure all UI policy. We'll create a new UI policy. Mm, apply condition, I'm not going to give anything so that it will run all the time, right? So for this, I will just create a new UI policy action. And let's make the assignment group mandatory here. So now we made the assignment group mandatory. And if you reload the incident, the assignment group became mandatory. So UI policy action is running, right? So now I'll also enable the script and I will just set the you know assignment group non mandatory from here. And I'll just save this. So basically I'm just telling to service know that for the incident table make a field assignment group mandatory via UI policy action. And I'm telling via script stating that make a field not mandatory via script. Now we'll see what happens when I reload the form. See assignment group is not mandatory. So this proves that UI policy action runs first. Then it will take the you know script whether executive true or false whatever the script we have that will run later. So we'll do a vice versa and we'll see that. So I'll make the field non mandatory from the UI policy action. And I'll make the field mandatory from the script. So if you reload the form now, see assignment group is mandatory now. It has taken from the script. So this actually helps developers. Sometimes we configure UI policy action plus script and you know uh, both may be conflicting and you know it may give the bad results. So we should know this that script executes later in the UI policy and it always execute UI policy action first. Let's post your queries in the comment section. So we will pick up the interesting topic and make a video upon that. And if you have not yet subscribed to my channel, please subscribe for more videos like this. Thank you all.